<laughs> oh, well, hello, my favorite people. I hope you guys are keeping warm because it's very, very cold outside. A couple of weeks ago, we celebrated Father's Day. And on that day, I was reminded of the fact that my dad passed away at the age of 68. Now, you may not know this, but my dad was a teacher. And his dad, in other words, my grandfather, he was a, yes, you're right, a teacher. And my great-grandfather was a, no, he was not a teacher. In actual fact, he was an artisan, somebody who did stuff with his hands. He was a tombstone maker and he worked for a company in Pal. Now you might wonder, how do I know this? I know this because of stories that were told to me by my parents. You see, the thing is we learn through stories because stories make us feel and stories connect us to people. And sometimes when we don't have people to tell us the stories, we can go to these things which we call books. And every time when you read a book, you are actually having a conversation with the person who wrote the book. Now, one of the books, and I must admit, I don't read it enough. That's full of stories, is this one. The Bible contains many stories of people who overcame doubt. People who did not allow the little voice that says, Oh, what if it's not going to work? What if I try and it doesn't happen the way I want to do? The Bible contains stories of people who had faith. People who trusted God. And when we read these stories, we can be encouraged because the God who they served is the same God who loves us. The same God who is around every day to enable us to do what we need to do. So I want to encourage you in this new week. If you have a chance, if there are days when you don't feel at your best, open this book and find a story that speaks to your heart. And as you connect with those, those stories, hopefully you'll discover that you can overcome doubt. And you do that by faith. And when you start living your best life, other people who look at you, they will be so inspired that they too will want to start doing things that they thought were not possible. So this is your time. So please, please, please keep on telling the stories. The stories of a God who loves, a God who supports, and a God who enables. And until we see each other again, please do keep warm. And if you can, rather stay indoors. Because last time I checked, Rain makes you... Oh.